wanna give you a million things Cause this isn't love what it's all about And how to make you smile again Something that I wanna figure out I wanna catch, I wanna catch you Like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would say Take you where you belonged If I could Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Brandy and I hope you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation. I had every intention of this week's video being my Christmas decorate with me, but as you can see, there was a little bit of a roadblock in my way. So today's video is going to be focusing on getting my downstairs, pretty much my kitchen and my living room deep cleaned and put back together, put some fall stuff away. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. I'm gonna start off by putting my good friend Anna up on the TV. I can always count on her for giving me a little motivation. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it I must admit, this corner is mostly my mess. I still have this coffee table out here, but we're gonna go ahead and put it out in the garage today because you know I've been working on the garage and there's room for it now. I also made it to Kirkland's and was able to get some of the very famous Norfolk pine garland and some of the Norfolk pine stems. And this is where it just gets a mess. I'm like falling over, Mackenzie is running and bumping into the camera. And then you'll see after I take these bags upstairs, I come back and I move the table and I knock over the vase I got at Hobby Lobby. Their vases were finally 50% off again. I love getting my vases from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna be putting some pine stems in the vase though, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it with my Christmas stuff. And the mess all over the floor is pillow memory foam stuffing stuff. We have coop pillows and you can actually add the stuffing to the pillow and adjust the comfort. And Michael's desperately needed some more stuffing and I've had this stuff since we moved from Florida. So over a year I've had this and I've been so afraid to open it because of this. I didn't want to have to deal with the mess, but I went ahead and got the pillows stuffed back up and I just tied it with a rubber band. And now I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Because I know if it gets into the hands of kids, it could be very bad. But I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in our closet for now. And I'm going to work on emptying this space because where our Christmas tree is going to go, we have that leather chair, well, fake leather chair in the lamp. So I'm going to actually move that to this corner so that I can make room for our tree. And I'm going to use some very precise measuring to get these frames kind of sort of back to where they need to go. Honestly, we probably need to just go ahead and put new nails in and fix the spacing altogether, but this works for now.
one of the non-negotiable things on my to-do list today is get my kitchen floor mopped. Can you see that spot? I'm about to vacuum over it or at least step on it. As soon as a kid walks away from their cereal bowl and leaves it on the table, Riley Ray, our little beagle, will go and get the bowl off the table. And of course, it like splashes everywhere and it's happened a few times. So, I need to go ahead and get that floor just completely mopped. A Lysol wipe is not going to cut it, but I want to go ahead and show you some of the things I picked up during Prime Days for our half bath. I forgot this was in a bag. Oh, I'm talking to my peeps. I got this faucet for $31, and then the light fixture I actually got for $18. And the little circle towel rod holder I'm about to show you, I purchased that for my bathroom, but I only got one of them, so I figured I would use it in the half bath. But this is the light fixture, and I didn't end up taking it all the way out of the box just because it was packed so well. I'll throw a picture up here, and I do believe I finally have everything ready to go for my half bath makeover. It's been taking me so long because I have been struggling on the design. I already have the wallpaper and I have a 10 foot roll, so it can go from floor to ceiling. I just didn't know if I wanted to add a half wall of board and batten or some type of trim. But since I have a complete roll, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the entire bathroom and I can always add like a lighter board and batten afterwards. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get this kitchen <laughs> cleaned up. It definitely needs some TLC. I have my little pre-wash helper on hand. So let's go ahead and get the dishwasher loaded up. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights While we keep working away in the kitchen, I thought we could do a quick check-in. I know I mentioned in last week's video that both of my kids came home sick on Wednesday, and we are now officially exactly a week later, and they're still sick. We have been dealing with the flu and strep. It has been a very long week, and I'm coming down with something. I'm hoping I'm just fighting whatever it is off, but I'm congested. You can probably hear it in my voice. My sister's kids are sick too, and yesterday was Halloween. We typically would have had six kids trick-or-treating, and we only had two. So I ended up carrying bags around the neighborhood for Madison, my niece Amelia, Scotty. It was so sad, but thankfully we have such a wonderful community, and everyone was very understanding when I was trick-or-treating for three kids. You could be the part where it all begins. You could 
guys notice what is still in my dining room yep that's the dresser that i got for mackenzie that we put out there a few weeks ago that just goes to show how very rarely we use our dining room but michael actually got us a gravity fed paint sprayer and i am so nervous to try it out so i have just kept the dresser in the dining room so it's not like out of sight out of mind in the garage but i want to decorate for christmas and i got a new candelabra that I would love to actually be able to set on my table to see if I like it or not. So the dresser is just gonna have to go to the garage for now. But you are getting ready to witness me try to put donuts in a mason jar. I put everything in a mason jar and unfortunately the donut didn't fit, but the cookies fit perfectly. for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it cause i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Watch me pray. At this point of our night, I thought I still had to do some Halloween crafting, so that is why I went ahead and moved my Cricut to the other counter. Little did I know that everyone was going to be sick and I wouldn't have to. Now the fun begins though. I'm going to finish vacuuming up here in the kitchen. Romeo did all of the hard work vacuuming in the living room for me, but I do have a little bit of vacuuming to do out there, but we are going to be totally moving the couch. I moved that table, our breakfast nook table already. We are going to be giving this floor a very, very good mopping. It desperately needed it. And that is the candelabra I was talking about earlier. If you just caught a glimpse of that, I am so excited to use it. But yes, just from picking up that mat, this is the amount of dirt and dog hair that came off of it. My goodness, we are way overdue for a good cleaning on this floor. To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So 
much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better Jumping back into the living room, we're gonna go ahead and call this part Christmas prep. That way it doesn't sound like I have an extremely messy living room and I have to go back for round two. I had started by taking the fall pillow covers off of the pillows along with collecting the fall throw blankets and then I got distracted and now we are just going to go ahead and move the couch out of the way. And we'll come back for the covers later in typical Brandy fashion but I really needed to get underneath the couch. I wanna put my ruggable back down, so I wanted to do a really good vacuum and mop. So you'll see we move the couch up towards the coffee table and then we'll come back and move it back towards the wall. I really wanted to make sure I was able to vacuum and mop under the entire couch. <music> Keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep moving In different rhythms Still I know what you feel
it's time to prep our Christmas tree spot. I am so excited to get my tree up, whichever tree that may be, that is. I know I shared a few weeks ago the Hobby Lobby tree that I got, and I thought I absolutely loved it. And when I put it up, it just kind of left much to be desired. It really was a pretty tree. It just wasn't the tree for this space as our main tree. So I ended up taking it back. And if you've seen the viral Grand Duchess tree that is like all over Instagram and TikTok, I guess. I don't really do TikTok though, but I have heard about this viral tree. So since I was already in the market for a tree, I decided to look into it. And you guys, it really is a gorgeous tree, and I kind of hate to admit that. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like, you don't want to be influenced by something? It was about $120 more than the Hobby Lobby tree, but all of the benefits that come with this tree are definitely worth it. There is literally little to no fluffing involved, and... I spend hours fluffing my Christmas trees, so I did not believe it at all, and you guys, this thing just kind of folds right out into a fluffed Christmas tree. It's ridiculous. So if you're in the market for a new Christmas tree, definitely check it out. I know it is going out of stock super quick. I did the seven and a half foot full Grand Duchess. It also comes in the seven and a half slim version, and then it comes nine foot and 12 foot just full. But let's get back to cleaning. We can talk about Christmas trees all we want next week. I'm going to finish mopping and then I'm gonna take some fall decor down. And then we're gonna start the process of putting our ruggable back down. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. to use a little bit of good old teamwork to get this coffee table back into the living room and then I'm going to straighten up in the kitchen a little bit and of course I will give you guys some good old before and afters and my sweet little Mackenzie is going to come out and style the coffee table for us. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I am so excited to share this Christmas season with you all. I will see you in my next one. Bye. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. 
sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. Your high heels on, and I'm wearing my worn out jeans. 